Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing the top 10 best Arsenal players for summer 2023. Now unlike my other lists, I'm not going to put text and instead going to do some commentary. People usually do not read the information that I put in my list videos, so I think it'll be easier if I just talk. If you guys like this new style, please leave a like and subscribe. Keep in mind that these lists are mostly my opinion, and I try my best to make them accurate. So if you guys disagree, then please feel free, because at the end of the day, nobody can make a perfect list. I also want to thank everyone for 5,000 subscribers. It's crazy since it took me 6 years to get to 2k, and it's crazy how I gained over 3,000 subscribers in a span of a month. I'm currently on my goal to 10,000 subscribers, so please subscribe and join my community discord, which is linked in the description of this video. I'll also be putting the channels of everyone in this list in the description after the premiere if you guys want to check out their content. Anyways, let's begin with the video. For the first honorable mention, I'll be adding Anger. Now, Anger is a YouTuber with almost 50,000 subscribers. He was an OG in the community back in 2020 and was friends with the infamous Castlers. He's been a Valorant player for over two years and he recently returned back to Arsenal. He was also part of Team Cringe and was one of the best players in the Roblox group. Anger would be around R7 today, as he is not on his prime, and he is pretty washed. I think that Anger has a potential to become R8, which is why he is in honorable mentions. Next is DX9 Trigger. Now probably nobody knows who this guy is, because he does not have a YouTube channel, and he is pretty new in the comm community. DX9 Trigger is over level 700 in Arsenal, and he possibly has the best reaction time in this entire list because his reaction time is less than 100 ms, which makes him live up to his name. The reason why DX9 Trigger is in honorable mentions is because he is a momentum player and can be really inconsistent. This is a big problem with DX9 Trigger as he can play very badly when things are not in his favor, and he can also whiff a lot. The third honorable mention is Bamboo. Bamboo is another player who is not very known, but he has a small YouTube channel where he uploads montages every month. Bamboo mains 1v1s and he usually wins most of them because the other person tends to have bad ping. He is pretty consistent compared to the rest of the honorable mentions and he can do very well against high ranks. Next is Gensei. Gensei is another small YouTuber who makes a bunch of Arsenal montages on his channel. He has very smooth aim and is one of the best UK players in this list. Gensei has beaten a lot of players including DX9 Trigger and Jainan. Gensei is not a comp player, so I don't really know what rank he is, but I'd assume he's an R7 high. The reason he is not placed higher is because he does not play well when he isn't warmed up, and he's pretty inconsistent as well. The fifth honorable mention would be Koswick. Koswick is an OG ACL player who has pretty good game sense and reaction time. He has gotten way better and he's probably on his prime at the moment. Koswick mains 2v2s and can beat almost any player if he gets the chance. He usually whiffs a lot and mains a lot of crosshair placement and reaction time instead of aim, which is why he is not placed higher. Next would be Jake Poole. Jake Poole was one of the best low FPS players in 2020 and he got a new PC about 1-2 to two years ago. Jake played in many tournaments including the JCT and he has over 2000 subscribers on YouTube. He makes Arsenal montages and small clips on his channel now. Jake has insane spread and rarely misses his shots. He does not have good movement, however, which is why he is in the honorable mentions. The final honorable mention on this list may come to you as a surprise. This is Legend, who was one of the most OG ACL players and still is good today. He is probably the most improved player out of anyone on this list. He was also like Jake and used to be a low FPS player and got good in his new PC. He single-handedly destroyed Do Not Eat the Noob and Enrique Bruv in one of my tournaments on his prime. Legend was also one of the best Arsenal players at one point. The reason why Legend is in the honorable mentions is because he rarely ever plays Arsenal now, and he isn't as good as he used to be. I think he is the best honorable mention out of anyone so far. Now let's move on to what you've all been waiting for, the top 10 list. Number 10 is Flower. Flower is the best female player in Arsenal at the moment. She is very good at spread and reaction time. She has beaten many players including Koswick, Jainan, and much more. She has a YouTube channel with over 600 subscribers, and she mainly posts on her alt channel. Flower would be around R7 high and probably be the best R7 on this list. 
However, she is nothing compared to the next player, who is possibly R8. Number 9 is Jainan Aim. Jainan has over a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and he mainly posts short clips and montages. He has very clean aim, and his tracking looks like aim lock. Jainan's playstyle is very unique, which lets him beat many high ranks. Jainan has also beaten Enrique Bruv and Nick on the same team, and he is cracked on Hillside and Matrix 1v1s and 2v2s. Number 8 is Soros. Soros is an OG ACL player who is extremely good at FFAs. He has very consistent aim and target switching. Soros can almost beat anyone if he has a good teammate. The reason he is not placed higher is because he has watched and his skill can go off sometimes. His channel has over 400 subscribers and he posts Valorant montages and clips. Number 7 is Zianlo. Zianlo is an R9 and he has aim comparable to Draco. He has over 600 subscribers on YouTube and posts Valorant videos just like Soros. Zianlo is mainly here because he has good reaction time and he can do very well against high ranks and he even got 26 points on Draco. Number 6 is Labigs. Now probably most of you guys know who Labigs is. He was an R11 back in ACL in 2021. Labigs has went from R6 to R11 in a span of 2 years. He has beaten Draco and Jimbo Slice in a Dizzy 1v1. Labigs makes Valorant videos and some Arsenal videos occasionally. He has over 1.7k subscribers and his flicks are extremely good. Labigs has the potential to become the best Arsenal player, but he is not placed higher because he recently returned and is not on his prime. Number 5 would be Do Not Eat The Noob, also known as the most sussed Arsenal player. Do Not Eat The Noob has extremely good spread and he is usually mistaken for Triggerbot or Aimlock. Dono has beaten almost every high rank and he is probably one of the best players in 2v2s and 1v1s. Dono even beat Enrique Bruv in a Sandtown 1v1 32-25 and he is R9 mid and has over 500 subscribers on YouTube. The reason he isn't placed higher is because his movement is pretty average and he doesn't pop off as much as the next player on this list. This is no other than Worst, who is number 4 on this list. Worst has identical aim to Draco when he pops off. He mains Matrix 1v1s and he can probably beat anyone in the world. Worst has extremely clean aim and his aggressive movement can make him impossible to beat. Worst has beaten July Bacon, Zianlo, Jainan, and many more. He posts Arsenal videos on his channel which has over 600 subscribers. However, Worst is not even half the skill of the next player on this list. Number 3 is Keegan slash Can't Bake Pie. Keegan is a super defense and scummy player and he can possibly beat anyone in a Matrix 1v1. He has over 400 subscribers on YouTube and posts Arsenal clips and montages. Keegan also is over level 1000 on his main account. Keegan would be around R10 in Matrix 1v1s as he 32 to 19 LeBigs in a 1v1. However, Keegan isn't the only scummy player on this list, and the next player could counter him in a Sandtown 1v1. Number 2 is July Bacon. July Bacon is no doubt the best EU player in the entire world. He is unbeatable in Sandtown 1v1s, and he has a very unique playstyle. July has beaten every high rank, and he has won many Arsenal tournaments. July has over 2,000 subscribers on YouTube, and he makes Arsenal clips and montages just like everyone else. July is also famous for beating Jimbo Slice in a Dizzy 1v1, and he has very good angles, which makes him impossible to beat. However, the next player is not even human compared to July Bacon. Number 1 is the legend himself, Draco Official. Draco has the best aim in Arsenal history, and he is good at almost every FPS game there is. His aim is considered perfect, and he has over 30k subscribers on YouTube. He won the JCT and the ACT, and beat many YouTubers including Fusion Boys, Joey the Player, and Reek Bruv and Cactus. Draco is no doubt the best player, and he will always remain that way. That is all for this video, so please like the video if you enjoyed. Goodbye.